Hello, hello everyone and welcome to our Arizona homestead. In this episode, you know what it is. It's another December delights and this is episode number nine. Can you believe it? Episode number nine. And this one you might have to make for that special someone in your family. This fudge is one of those special person type fudges. It's for the Grinch. Yes, today we're going to make Grinch fudge. Here we go. All right, this is another super easy one, y'all. We've got three cups of our white chocolate chips. We have one 14 ounce can of the sweetened condensed milk. The recipe said 12, but I think that might have been a typo. But we're going to try the 14 and see what happens. We also have a quarter of a cup of unsalted butter. We have some green food coloring, of course, for the Grinch. And we have the little red hearts for his little heart. I couldn't find actual red hearts. These are more like little red dots, but that's all we could find for right now. And I searched and searched, let me tell you. Okay, step number one, we're gonna microwave our white chocolate chips with our sweetened condensed milk and our butter. And our quarter cup of butter. Now we're gonna microwave this for one to three minutes. We're gonna be stirring at intervals. So I start with about a minute and see how things go. All right, here's our first minute, as you can see. Our chocolate is starting to melt nicely. Get that butter down there so it can start melting as well. Back in for minute number two. Oh yeah, after our second minute, here we go. That's really starting to get mixed in nicely. Okay, back in for another minute. Oh yeah, this is after minute number three. Still a little bit of a lump of butter in there. We got to get mixed in. All right, very nice. Now the fun part. Let's make it Grinch green. Oh wow, we're gonna definitely need a lot more than that. Ooh, it's starting to look grinchy. Hopefully that's the last that we'll need. I think that should get us to where we want to be. We'll see. That looks pretty grinchy. I think that should do it, hopefully. It's my third big dose. Well, I call those big doses, but maybe not. If the recipe said 20 drops of, of the green, but I didn't have the liquid in the green, I had the gel, so. So, our next step, pour it into our prepared pan. Oh, doesn't that look just grinchy? Want to make sure we push it into the corners. All right, take a look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Now, another fun step. Let's put on our little red hearts. Well, they're not little red hearts, they're dots, but we're gonna pretend they're hearts. To sprinkle all over since they're technically not red hearts, they're little red dots, but they'll get the idea. We just know that it grew three times the size that day. That's what's important. The magic. It's ever so lightly tapping on them. So everyone will get a little bit of the red heart in their square. I think that looks just great. So we're gonna let that sit on the counter for about 30 minutes and then into the fridge to chill. Okay, look at that beautiful Grinch fudge. Okay, let's get this out of the pan. Oh, don't do it to me. Here we go, help it out a little bit. Just along the edge, just push down a little bit. Because I didn't put the uh, parchment paper, I didn't put it on the edges here, so that's why it's stuck. Most of the time it doesn't, but this one did stay in the refrigerator overnight, and I have left it out a little bit to warm it up a little bit. But obviously not enough, so here we go. There we go, she's coming out. 
All right, take a look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? All right, let's get this cut. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Oh, wow, that looks so fantastic. Grinch fudge. I love it. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get one really good looking row. And then I'll show you. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at the sprinkles. Take in the sprinkles. Look at that smooth deliciousness. Oh my goodness, that's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to try it, so let's get to cutting. This is a pretty thick one, so I'm cutting the rows a little thinner than I normally would do. Because these are thick ones. This one and the last one are pretty thick fudges. I've made so many fudges at this point, I can't even remember what the last one was. Just cut this little edge off here just to make it look a little cleaner. There we go. Okay. Which actually is pretty good because this edge, as you see, is remiss of green hearts. These are supposed to be the little hearts that grow three times bigger that day. I'm going to have a piece with a heart on it. Got to have a heart. Mmm. 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 That is creamy goodness, y'all. Oh, I like it. That is delicious. Oh, yes, that is fantastic. I like this one right here. It's got more of the red hearts on it. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that. Doesn't that look fabulous? Little red hearts. Look how thick it is. Oh, it's so good too. And there you have it. Look at that delicious fudge. Grinch fudge. Y'all know who need to get the Grinch fudge. You know who you are out there. The Grinches. Here it is. Well, thanks for stopping by Arizona Homestead today, y'all. We really appreciate you. And we hope that you all are doing great and are enjoying this holiday season. And as always, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.